Whatever you do, make sure you read the fine print. Yo, what's going on my VVOGs, my crypto heads, and my NFT enthusiasts? It's your brony, the gal, back at it again with another NFT tutorial video. So, there's a hot new NFT about to drop and you can't wait to get your hands on it, huh? Well, did you know that there's a quicker way to get to that NFT? If not, this video is for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to mint from the contract. And basically what that does is it, pr it pretty much pretty much gets you to the f top of the line. It kind of jumps, jumps you ahead of everybody because there's two ways to mint during a drop. You can do it directly from the website or you can just mint from the contract. And I don't know if too many people know about that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do, do that in this video. So, uh, without further ado, let's just breeze into it. So I'm going to use the Afro Droids drop as an example, since that was my last NFT. So I'm over here on Twitter, and I'm on Twitter because I want to go to the official website. So I'm, I'm going to click on the website that is on their official Twitter, and that's going to bring me to the page. And at the top of the page, there is a link that says Mint. So I'm going to click that Mint button. And it's going to bring me to the page where I'm going to need to co connect my Web3 wallet, uh, whether that be MetaMask or Trust Wallet or something like that. And I'm going to connect it and I'm going to click how many I want to mint. And it's going to show me the price. And when I'm satisfied, I'm going to click that button and it's going to bring me uh, to the MetaMask page where I need to confirm my transactions. Uh, this is the normal way. This is the easy way. Uh, for people to mint during the drop and as my metamask loads it's going to bring up the purchasing page uh, and then you got to wait a few seconds and it's going to show you all of the details of your transaction it's going to give you the gas the total price and you may need to uh, adjust the gas depending on the traffic of the ethereum network at the time so this right here is the normal way how people uh, can mint and I'm going to show you now how to mint from the contract so normally when you're about to uh, participate in a new drop you're hanging out in the discords right so in those discords they're going to drop you the um, the contract which you are going to need to mint from the contract so I would advise you to not click on any contracts that are in the public chat there's going to be a section where only the ad administrators can drop links and I would use those contracts because nobody else can type in there except for the official people. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the contract and it's going to take you to uh, Etherscan, which every transaction on the Ethereum network takes place. So let's do that. So now we're on Etherscan and what we're going to want to do now is scroll down so we can see some more information. So now you see transactions, internal transactions. What we want to click on is contract, uh, two clicks over, and we wanna verify that that green check is there, which it is. So let's click on that. So we see that the contract source code is verified with that green check mark. We see the contract name is Afrodroids. And uh, so we know we're good to go. So now we see that the thing says code, read, or write. We want to go on over to write so that we can write on the contract. Okay, so now that we're on the write portion, we're going to see some options. Uh, it's usually going to be number three or four. And since for the Afro Droids, I was approved for pre sale, it says mint pre sale. So that's the one I'm going to want to click on. And for this portion of the, um, of the process, you're going to want to know the cost of or what it costs to mint. So for the Afro Droids, it costs 0 0.07 to mint one Afro Droid. So when it says uh, payable amount in Ether, you're going to put 0 0.07 if you want to mint one Afro Droid. Now, let's say you wanted to mint two Afro Droids. Then when it says number of tokens, you will put two Afro Droids. But in the top, you will put point, uh, 0.14 because that's 0.07 times 2. 
and so forth. So if you wanted to mint four Afro Droids, what would you put in the mint presale? I'll give you a few seconds. Yeah, 0.28. So it's just simple math. So for now, I'm just gonna mint one. So I put, so I'm gonna put 0.07 at the top, and then I'm gonna put one Afro Droid in the bottom. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna click on right. And it's gonna ask you to connect your Web3 wallet. So whether that be Trust or MetaMask, or if you have another type, you're just gonna have to uh, connect that real quick. So you're gonna connect, you're gonna press that button that says connect to Web3, and you'll get a pop-up, and you're gonna hit wallet connect. Well, that's what I do, I hit wallet connect, and then it brings up my MetaMask options. But before that, it's going to bring up a pop-up and it's just going to give you some uh, warnings or whatever. And then you're just going to hit OK. And after that, you should be connected. As you see with that green dot, it says connected. And then it shows your wallet address. So then you're just going to hit right again. And it should take you to your MetaMask at where the transaction will pop up. So here's the MetaMask wallet. And then you just got to give it a few seconds. Sometimes you'll think it's not working, but for whatever reason, it takes a couple of seconds. So we wait and we wait and we wait and here we go. So it's calculating the gas and stuff right now. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. I did kind of slow it slow it down so I can give you the tutorial that's why it's taking a little longer but here we go it looks like we're good to go the gas is $249 there's uh, 1100 in the account and the total price is 497 to mint so all you would need to do now is hit confirm to confirm the transaction and that should be it right there so right now I'm gonna show you a separate a different tra transaction sometimes you'll have enough in your balance but um, it'll say that you still need more ETH. And this is because you need to adjust the gas, the gas fee or whatever. So you see that blue highlighted right there? We're gonna click on that. And this is how you adjust uh, your gas, which will determine how quickly your transaction goes through or even if it goes through. So right now it says I need like 0.0034 ETH. And sometimes all you, all you have to do is wait because the gas changes like every, what, 25 seconds or so, 20 seconds. But other times you'll have to click on that blue link right there, the blue ETH link, and you'll have to adjust the gas price. Uh, usually making it making it the max will automatically, you know, make your transaction go through if you have enough in your balance. So uh, let's click on that link one more time. So we click on it and we're just playing around with the gas fees. We put it to high and then we put it back to medium and it seems like the gas fees changed. So I'm able to confirm it now. And um, yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna show you at the bottom that the transaction was submitted. We're just waiting for the confirmation now. Take a little minute and plus the video is on slow motion. Uh, but okay, the transaction has been sent. So we're all good to go. Now we can click on my Ethereum balance right there and we can look into the transaction even further if we want to. So it's going to show us um, right there where we can, where we, it says submit it and we can actually speed it up with more ETH if we wanted to, but it looks like it just confirmed. So we are officially good to go. They have taken the money out of the account and now we can check and see if we got our Afro droids. So we're gonna click on my profile and we're gonna check out and see. And there we go, we got Afro Droids, Afro Droids, Afro Droids. So yeah, that was the tutorial right there. Nothing too technical, but just to show you guys, um, you know, the basics of minting through the contract. So uh, yeah. So that's the video, my friends. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. And uh, if you learned something or was entertained, feel free to drop a like on the video and su consider subscribing. So yeah, the reasons for minting through the contract is so that you can be first in line. And let's say like the website breaks down or something. Well, while, while all the newbies are trying to, you know, use the website, 
you can just go straight to the contract and mint your NFTs for like so, sort of like early access. So, you know, the more you know, maybe that's just hopefully that's just another um, a notch in your belt, your utility belt of, uh, you know, things you can do in the minting process. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. It was for me. And uh, yeah, man. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. These are just my thoughts and opinions on NFTs and minting. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt because uh, it is kind of risky minting on the contract if you don't know what you're doing. Like if you try to mint before uh, the drop starts, you could pay gas fees and not receive anything. So make sure you're doing your due diligence. Maybe watch a few other uh, videos on minting the contract so you can get second second and third opinions so you can have a firm grasp on uh, minting through the contract. So with that being said, thank you for watching the video. And um, yeah, I will catch you in my next video. So until then, peace out and huddle strong, my friends. Later. <laughs>